for this video, I'm gonna show you how you're going to create your own uh, stack of dado blades. Before we begin, I just wanna take a moment to explain what dado blades actually are. So in this photo, this here is a stack of dado blades that are put into a table saw. Essentially what they do is that these dado blades are customizable table saw blades that allow you to cut slots into a piece of wood. So if we look onto this finished cut over here, the thickness of this slot is roughly the same thickness as the thickness of the table saw blade. One thing I want to draw your attention to before we begin is to take a look at the lines on this piece of wood here. And those lines are essentially the grain of the wood. And the reason why I'm talking a little bit about the grains of the wood is that depending on where you locate the slots, it actually gets a different name. So you should always begin by looking at the lines of the wood or the grain. If the slot runs with the line, so in this case, the slot is running in the same direction as the lines or the grain of the wood, we call it a groove. In this case, we can see that the slot goes against or across or through the grain. And if that's the case, we don't call it a groove, we actually call it a dado. And finally, if the slot is cut along the edge of the board, so here it is right against the edge, it's called a rabbit with an ET. And regardless of whether you want to cut a groove, a dado, or a rabbit, you're going to find that a set of dado blades will come in very handy. So let's take apart our set. All the dado blades usually have a set of components. They usually come with blades, chippers, spacers, and thinner little shims. Also, your set of dado blades will hopefully come with an instruction manual that will tell you how to build a blade to cut to a particular thickness. So let's take a look closely at this chart because you will need to look at it to build your own blade. If we look at the chart to the left, are the various components that I'm, I was referring to. Here are the blades, the chippers, the spacers, and the shims. And up on the top are a whole variety of different thicknesses that you can create. So for example, if I needed to build a blade that was 5 8 thick, I would look at the chart, 5 8 here it is, and then I would need one and one, so I would need both blade A and blade B, so that I would need both of these and I would need three of the chippers. So I would need all three of these. I would not need the spacers or the shims. Now that I went over how to look at the chart to build your blade, let's try this on your own. So in this case, I'm going to need a half inch thick dado blade. So take a moment and think for yourself, what components will you need and how many of these components will you need? I'm gonna pause for about five seconds so that you can figure that out. Okay, so again, I'm gonna look at this chart over here at the half inch, and I'm going to need two blades and two chippers. All right, so now that we uh, understand a little bit more about what dado blades are, what they do, and how to look at the chart, let's go back to assembling the dado blade. You'll need the dado set and hopefully the colorful guide on the pieces that you're going to need. So start, and we're gonna loosen this up. And think of it as making the world's most inedible sandwich. And the recipe is over here. So if I want to cut a three quarter inch dado, I'm going to need two blades. So that's like the pieces of bread. So I'm gonna pull them out. Be very careful. The one that says last goes last. And it's very important as you're looking at all of these pieces to kind of be aware of the way the blade spins. So over here are the teeth and the table saw blade spins this way. So you wanna make sure the teeth are coming down onto the wood. What you want to avoid is, since the machine is spinning this way, you are not gonna be cutting anything here. So we have our 
two pieces of bread. Our last one goes last. We'll set that aside. Our first one is first. So now looking onto my guide, I'm going to need three chippers and two spacers. So now these are the ingredients to my sandwich. Take that out. We have our two spacers, our two tomatoes. And we have our two, or our, we need three chippers for our recipe. So here's chipper one, chipper two, and chipper three. Because I'm a visual learner, I like to pretend that this is the way that the table saw. This is the table saw arbor. This is the very first blade. There's my bread. Next, make sure the face or the teeth are facing down. So we'll have bacon strips. As you are putting the blades in, you want to make sure that they are they have their own space, which you want to avoid. is them resting on top of each other like that. You see how there's a gap here? That's no good. So I'm just gonna rotate that out. Okay, we're gonna need another chipper and two spacers, so I'll, I'll throw a spacer in there. So there's a tomato. Make sure the teeth is pointing down. There's the next bacon strip. Tomato and as you can sort of see I like to rotate the chippers so that they are in different kind of places or different locations and then we're going to end with our piece of bread and we've essentially created a three-quarter inch dado blade so essentially when we put this on the table saw it's going to essentially cut three-quarter inches Thanks for watching this video and watch the video in the link in the description to see how you can take your dado stack that you built and put it in the table saw.